You guys recognize this famous young man? Oh my gosh, it's always a pleasure when I got to speak with Tony. I mean, and today we get to talk about technology I enjoy as well on the spinner machines. So you guys do not turn your heads, put down your coffee, get excited. Are you listening to me right now? Yes, we're that excited today, Tony. All right, we have a triple turret twin spindle, which we're actually calling a, not a sub spindle anymore, but a second main no. spindle. So dual spindles at this point but let's just talk about the capability of what this can do first and what it can bring to the audience watching. And then we'll get into some of the unique details of Spinner itself. So when I think three turrets, two spindles, what do I get to do with that? Oh, you get to do a lot and you get to do it fast. That's the thing about the, the two spindles and the three turrets. This is the, for me, is my bread and butter because I make it dance, you know, I. I come up with, you know, ideas that, you know, are out of the blue, you know, they just come in and, but this machine, what this machine allows me to do is the way it is constructed allows me to work on one spindle with the three turrets or on, on the other spindle with the three turrets. That the specifics of this one is that you can run with all three turrets, you can do pinch turning and you can be drilling at the same time with the upper right turret. So the possibilities are endless with this machine. I like the term endless and you are a legend in the industry. You've been doing this a long oh, time. You. you see how this can be done correctly and how maybe it's not utilized correctly at the same time. You've already mentioned pinch turning. Can we dive a little bit into the concept of pinch turning just on op 10 because obviously op 20 can be running on its own also, but let's just talk about pinch turning and what that does for anyone who's learning about it for the first time. All right, there's two kinds of pinch turning. One is you can be doing roughing and finishing at the same time. One tool is trailing the other one. And the other one is you can be using it for doing the roughing with both of them at the same time. And you can support the, the part, even if it's a long part, you can support it because you're compensating for the pressure of one with the other one cutting at the same time. So that is what allows you to do longer parts and be more efficient than the competitor. All right, Tony. So we've kind of gone over the concept, which I like a lot of three turrets and cut, you know, three things cutting at the same time, which obviously reduces cycle times, right? We're getting a bar feed on the opposite side here. So we're constantly going from raw material to finished part in most cases, aren't we? I am glad you're asking <laughs> that question <laughs> because with a machine like this, when you got a bar feeder and the, the way we construct our machine, you get a complete automation. You don't even need to touch the part. You can have your raw material coming in from the left side, and you know you can use a, a 12 foot uh, bar feeder, bar loader. You can use a short one, but you're always feeding parts. And on the right side, you know, on the right spindle, you're finishing the part. Then you got your parts catcher, and then the part comes out complete, the bird ready to be shipped to your customer. So we've talked about the concept because. There are some people hesitant, still running with one turret going, well, I don't know what two are going to do for me. Oh my gosh, there's three now. What do I do? And the successes are there. So gain the confidence, get more done. That's where these machines come into play. But now let's talk spinner. Let's talk German engineering. Let's talk about bringing this here in the U.S. and getting people excited about that. What are some of the unique attributes other than just German engineering being resounding across the, the world as being that head of engineering? Let's talk spinner specific. What does this machine from Spinner bring in its unique capabilities? Well, the capabilities that we're doing, I'm glad you mentioned that again, because we have the world renowned German engineering, but we also have, you know, being Spinner North America is the world renowned German engineering and the support with the American ingenuity that we have over Ooh, here. Ooh, I like so, that. Once you put those two things together, you know, sparks come out. And I mean the sparks in the good way. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen bad sparks as well. Yes, we don't want yes. that. I'm not talking about that. So back to your question, the uniqueness of this machine is how it's built. You know, as you can see, this is not a slant bed, uh, lathe, multitasking lathe. It is uh, vertically uh, built. So that allows for the, the chip evacuation. You don't get the chip problems on it. And also we have, you know, our chip conveyor is wide. It's two feet wide. You know, and uh, also the machine, the way, as I mentioned before, the way the machine is built, you can have the, the three turrets working on the one spindle or the other. They're not exclusive. The upper ones are not exclusive. Some of other builders have one that can only work on the right and the other one can only work on the left. 
we on this one we can share turrets whenever needed to make it a lot more efficient and that's where it gives us the edge you know because it's it's not only about the machine also uh, let me tell you and i'm not you know patting my own back but it's you get the best machine the best technology and then when you skin the cat in a different way you know sorry peter lovers you know i'm not talking <laughs> about skinning the cat but when you come up with ideas that make it more efficient and you can say shave one two or three seconds and you're faster than the competition that's when you get the orders that's when you become successful i think about it i mean to your point you know one two three four seconds times ten thousand parts obviously that math adds up two things i want to talk a little bit more about if it's okay with you tony yep. is you are absolutely correct in a lot of situations this turret is dedicated to the second side, right? And the first right. two are dedicated yeah. to the first side. And being universal in such a way it doesn't exist in a lot of places. So you can literally do two operations or pinch turning on one while this one comes in and drill or something like that. that that's incredible. You got a perfect example over here on this, what you're pointing. I got two turning tools here, one on the lower, one on the upper left. And the upper right has a drill. So I can be turning, doing the pinch turning or the balance cutting. And at the same time, I can be drilling the center hole on it, and that will make us a lot more efficient. Let's quickly, quickly touch, because although I do think it's important and not discussed enough, there's also not a lot of depth we can get in, but you mentioned the width of the chip conveyor belt, and I know how I used to have chips get built up and it would get on my nerves, and I'd have that piece in there turning like this and crunching out the, the chips. And if I ever had any stringy parts, it was real annoying if I wasn't getting the chips I wanted to get. So let's just quickly talk about the wider conveyor bed and what that helps for people. It helps get the, the chips, even when you get the stringy ones, you get the bird's nets, what we call, you know, and you have that problem. And it's, you know, I always put myself in the shoes of yes. the operator. Yes. And, you talk about me being an oldie but goodie, you know, I've done this since 1990 and I started from the bottom up. You know, I was an operator and that was one of the issues. So I always, when I'm thinking an application, I look at the problems that the, the customers can get. So what this machine can do, I mean, the chip conveyor specifically can get all those, you know, big bird nests out of there a lot easier than a narrow chip conveyor. I think that's pretty much all we need to do to dive into that. It makes sense to me. I need to talk about now what I, something that's very important. We built this whole thing up, but you can't do any of this if precision and rigidity is not there. When it comes to harder materials, some of those super alloys, when it comes to parts coming off in that fully automated world that you don't need to touch, if the parts don't come off good, or if I'm sacrificing half of my materials because my rigidity is not there, I heard a song that once said, it's all about the base, you know what I mean? It so is. does this spinner machine have those necessary components as well? Or am I sacrificing this flexibility and this, this speed for my rigidity and ability to cut the harder materials? Not at all. And you're asking all the right questions. Tony. It's like I've done this before. Yes, it's, it's, you know, it's, I don't think you're new at this at all. <laughs> well, we have the way we built our machine. As you can see, the, the way we build the turret looks a little bit different uh, from, you know, the normal or the other machine. You know, as you can see, you can see this circular part over here. This is uh, passive vibration dampening. So that takes care of the, the rigidity issue that you're talking about. And also when, when we're doing roughing on this side and you're doing finishing on the other side, you don't want those vibrations to go onto the other side because, you know, it's a scrap part or, you know, it, it just doesn't measure up to the quality that your customer wants. So what we do, we have that passive uh, vibration suppression, which works pretty much like your headphones when they're suppressing the, the outside sound. Right. So it's it dampens all the vibrations to a point where you don't get that, that problem. I think it's all very clever. The last thing I have to ask you today as we're on camera and finishing up this interview is, it's been a long time since I've seen you. Can I give you a hug, man? Oh yeah, we always do that. <laughs> yeah. Tony, you are incredible. Thank you yeah. all for watching. We appreciate your Thank time you. as well. Check out Spinner. If you need to know more about how you can reduce your overall cycle times and get into three turrets in cut at the same time. If you need that automated system to run lights out production and start with a raw blank and finish with a done part that can go into a box, contact my buddy Tony, contact Spinner, and we'll see you again soon. And I can make the machine dance. Ha, 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 ha.